I'm so glad you could make it. Yeah, of course, I wouldn't miss your 30th birthday. Well, you've been MIA recently. Is everything okay? I've just been really busy. Right. Okay, well, I need to go say hello to everybody else, but I'll be right back and then we can catch up, okay? okay. Haven't seen you in a while either. Hi, Beatrice. It's nice to see you. I've been a little preoccupied, clearly, as you never responded to my emails. Oh, I... I don't think I saw your email. Guess so. Well, I need your contribution for Abby's group gift. We all agree to chip in $50, so if you could just write me a check for your portion. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to do that. I didn't mention it to Abby, but... I just recently lost my job. We all agreed. You can't back out now. I didn't agree. And I would have said that in the email if I'd seen it. And I'm, I'm sorry if there was a misunderstanding, but I really can't afford that right now. Really? After all Abby's done for you, you can't find a way to make her day special? I did. I made sure to come, and I'm sure that being surrounded by her friends and family is what she appreciates. And I didn't come in to hand it. I, I got her a gift. Coffee? That's it? Aren't you embarrassed to give your friend such a meager gift? It's from the first place we met. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Don't think so. So the idea was for all of us to come together on a group gift to get her something really great, and you ruined the whole thing. Maybe you should try to calm down. I don't even know why I haven't invited you. If you're going to bring a cheap gift and take advantage of her hospitality. I'm not taking advantage of her hospitality. I literally can't afford it. Well, it sounds like you need to put a little bit more effort into finding a new position. You just expect everything to be handed to you, huh? Well, the truth is, you need to put some effort and time in. Keith, this is such a great turnout. Thank you so much for planning this. Of course, sis. It's your 30th. It's a big milestone. Um, you deserve to be celebrated in style. You should open Monica's gift. Oh. Monica, you didn't have to get me anything. Well, thank you. Oh, it, it's nothing. Yeah, I didn't see I asked Monica if she wanted to go in on the group gift, but uh, she said she wanted to give you this instead. Well, it's from Worcester's Cafe, like when we were freshmen. I'm in love with their dark roast. This is, this is totally my favorite. Thank you so much, Monica. This is great. Yeah, of, of course. I'm glad you like it. You're so welcome. Well, um, I guess I should give you the group gift then. Oh, thank you. Should it? Do you want me to get the others, or...? Fine, I organized the little thing. Okay. So I hope you're ready to be pampered, because we got you a luxurious spa day, and it came from everybody. Everybody contributed. Um, well, except for Monica, as you know. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. You know, I could really use some relaxation, so... Of course. It's your birthday. You deserve it. 30's a big milestone. It's really a great gift, Beatrice. It's very thoughtful. I know. I wish you would have stuck to the plan. Okay, no, that's enough. Monica's gift was incredibly thoughtful, and I really, really love it. And besides, I told you when you were planning this, I didn't want any gifts, and to make sure all the guests knew that. Guessing that didn't happen. Abby, it's a birthday party. Of course there's gonna be gifts. Your friends wouldn't want it any other way. Right, okay, well, you're making Monica feel bad, and that's not okay with me. She's one of my closest friends, and it's not because of what gifts she gets me, because she's always been there for me. Well, I just feel like she would want to make your day special, seeing as she is your closest friend. Okay, well, it's special just by her being here, okay? But if you're going to keep doing this, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's my birthday, and I'm not going to have anybody feeling badly. You can't ask me to leave. I organized the whole thing. You're being a completely ungrateful sister for all the time and effort that I put into this. It's just, I'm not being ungrateful. I just don't want people feeling bad at my birthday party. So, can we just drop it? Hi. One day you'll realize that I'm trying to help you, but I won't say anything more about it. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. I'm just so glad you were able to make it. So what's been going on with you, though? Tell me. Uh, it's your birthday. I don't want to bring down the, your celebration. Okay, well, I can't celebrate if I don't know that my best friend is doing okay. So how about we go get some cake? chat a little bit and besides everything's better over cake yeah i guess that's true 